Welcome to another episode of the Transparent Trading Academy. This is your host, Trader Travis, author of the best-selling Amazon book, Option Trading Made Simple. Now, if you're new to the Transparent Trading Academy, this is your opportunity to see myself, an average guy, try to take $1,000 and turn it into a million dollars trading only one stock. Now, I begin this journey with two accounts that I will use as a side-by-side -side comparison for performance. One account, I invested roughly $1,000 in a, what I say, a traditional buy and pray approach is most people know it as buy and hold. Then I have another $1,000 I invested. I'm going to trade stock options. Now, if you're not familiar with stock options, they are a way for you to make money in the stock market, no matter if it's going up, down, or sideways. So because you can make money in any situation, your performance is generally higher. However, we will see in this case study. Now, in today's episode, what you'll do is get a peek inside of my real money brokerage account to see my performance. And then you'll also learn what the true holy grail of trading is and why I feel most technical indicators are completely useless. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, update you on my performance here uh, with these particular trades. And before I do that, I want to show you, this is uh, transparent trading. So what I want to do is show you again my Roth uh, IRA account and show you the spreadsheet. I have the spreadsheet here. It's all pretty doctored up, um, you know, so it's easier for you to see the different types of strategies I'm doing. I may change this in the future just because it's a little bit more work. Uh, but I want to show you how I get these numbers. Um, I don't manually input them. A lot of people will say, well, you have a spreadsheet, you know, that I can use. And I'm like, I don't, I'm not tech savvy. I'm, you know, I get stressed. You're trying to use Excel. So what I do is come here to my broker platform, just put in the stock I'm trading and then I run a report that shows me all the trades I've made in this particular date. So you can see here, bought two Starbucks, 57, 57, 50 puts. So that's what you can see here, 57, 57 put. It's the exact trade. So all these trades right here, you see on this spreadsheet, were taken literally from my broker account. So I bro I've separated it you know, on the Excel, so it's a little easier on your eyes. But all I do literally is hit the download button here. It downloads an Excel file. Um, let me pull that up. Uh, it looks a little weird. So what I do is take this amount column and uh, in, in, in another uh, portfolio I have, I literally just um, add up this column. I don't even really, you know, it make the spreadsheet look pretty or anything. It, it doesn't matter for me. I'm just trying to see my performance. I doctor it up for you and make it look pretty so, you know, you can easier on the eyes. So 41281. All right. So that's what that says. So if you look here on my spreadsheet that I have, you know, made a little bit more prettier, you can see the same total here. So that's where I'm getting these trades. I'm literally downloading them from my broker platform. I just change the font, you know, center it, you know, again, make it easier on your eyes, but that's where that is. So you can see here, I ran this report, downloaded is the exact same performance. Okay. So now what I want to do is I'm about to make some adjustments i'm going to i don't call them adjustments i'm actually going to close out a couple of my trades and here's why i want to show you some variation here a lot of people are against investing in software you know you know by now i use market club a lot and some people are hesitant to invest in themselves or invest in tools you know they're kind of bootstrapping it and as a matter of fact i just had a question the other day with somebody was saying why do you use market club when you could be using the free tools that your broker gives you. And, you know, I don't need Market Club, but I use it a lot because it, it gives my brain a much needed break from having to think. But, you know, I can trade off a naked chart. I've been doing this so long. You kind of get a feel for stock price movement. And I keep things simple. I hate having like 12 technical in indicators on my chart. People have so much on their charts. It's like you see everything else, but what really matters. And what I teach my students to do is get rid of all the noise and focus on what really matters, price and volume. If anybody's looking for a holy grail of trading, it's price and volume. Just listen to the story the stock is telling you and the stock will tell you what it's going to do. Case in point, Starbucks here. Okay. Starbucks is turning over. I realized it was turning over the other day. I did not do anything. I was going to record a video for you, but I said, well, you know, let me wait this out and see what happens. Let's change this to a line chart. We can use something as simple as a little trend line here. Okay. And we can draw the trend line along the price lows. And actually, let me move this a little bit and make it a little bit. I'll start about here. Or actually, let's just keep it right here. We can go from the low right here. 
you can do some people use Fibonacci. I just, you know, again, I like to trade from a naked chart a lot. Every now and then I put some indicators on here, but sometimes they're distracting because they're nothing but visual aids to me. If you look up the formulas for any famous indicator, Bollinger Bands, Williams-Pissonar, um, relative strength, Fibonacci, it's all numbers. It's a mathematical formula. It's input. And if you dig down into the formula that creates that indicator, you will often see some commonalities. Price and volume show up over and over again. So I came to the conclusion one day, I said, what if I just get rid of all indicators and just focus on price and volume? Because indicators are a distraction. So I can use simple things like your trend line. I can see that, well, Starbucks started turning over right about this point. So listening to the story the stock is telling me, I can see that its upward movement has ceased and it's now going down. I don't know how long it will go down. It really doesn't matter because I understand at this point, stocks just don't go straight up or straight down. People want them to, but they don't. They have this zigzag motion, but they generally keep some kind of consistent trend. Okay. So if we come into a one year chart, we will see that, you know, Starbucks has had this pattern in the past, you know, it's gone up, you know, pull back a little, gone up, pull back a little, gone up, pull back a little, that stock price movement, get used to it. You got to be prepared for it. However, what I have to do is I am not a, people say, well, I'm a, a trader or, or, or something like that. And I'm going to say, well, I'm just a professional manager of risk. Cause that's what you really have to do. Just manage the risk in your portfolio, you know, prepare for the worst, hope for the best. But anyway, I say all this to say that I can see that prices are turning over now. I don't know how long this downward movement will last. Maybe it'll last today and it'll start going back. I don't know. But what I have to do is protect myself. Okay, so coming back here to my trades here, you know, if I had, if all those trades had it worked out well, if the selling strategies had it worked out, this, you know, $412 factors in, assuming I would actually lose all the money in a call option too. So that would have put me in a good position. Even if I had lost all the money in a call option, I still would have been up 40% so far, you know, in about, again, a two month time period. So that's earning about 20% a month on your money, which people would say is impossible. It's not, you can't do it consistently and all this other garbage. You know what, uh, what did I say? Stop listening to other people's opinions. Let your real world results speak for themselves. You let them keep their opinion. You keep your real world results. So I choose to ignore all the naysayers, especially the people who say that are usually the people who failed at investing. I'm like, that's why you feel the way you do, because you haven't experienced what I have. And that's, you know, option trading success. And so even though you just watch me lose money and you watch these other trades not really play out, guess what? I'm still up for the year, close to 10%. I will have the final say so after I up this update the spreadsheet. As a matter of fact, what I may do is after my broker platform updates, I can come in, do like a 30 second, you know, addition to this video to show you where I'm at thus far. And it's probably going to be around 10%. And that's considerably better than the buy and hold uh, so far, which is about up $84. All right, so the buy and hold, uh, let's pull up the calculator, $84. Hey, I just want to remind you before you go that if you want to watch the full length videos, just go on over to TraderTravis.com and look for the Transparent Trading Academy links. Now, membership in the Academy is completely free. It's, it's my way of adding value to your life without you having to pay me a dime. And for a limited time, I'm giving away a bonus to all new members. It's called the Hot Stock Formula. This tutorial is going to teach you how to find the top 10 to 20% of all stocks in the market. Again, if you're interested, just go on over to TraderTravis.com and sign up for your free membership. You take care. Have a great week. Bye-bye.